Hi everybody, and welcome to I Like Cruise Ships, the YouTube channel, and welcome to a new video. Today's video is going to be a how to get to the beach in Grand Cayman video. So here we are, we've just walked on the tender. Now I always like to sit right on that first seat there on the right hand side where I'm about to sit down. I like to be getting, I like when we dock, I like to get off as quick as I can. I don't like to be sort of sitting downstairs and then wait for long lines. So yeah, you just grab a seat and sit down. Everybody's just walking on now. Uh, we have to wait till the tender's full. These normally seat about 200 people, so it's just lucky if you're either on the boat first or last and the boat leaves. So yeah, here we are just pulling away. Now you'll see in the video it is a little bit of an overcast rainy day. So prepare not for blue skies, but I was making this video all along. So yeah, uh, here we are just walking off. We got right behind this guy with a backpack. And he kind of blocked the view a little bit, but it's okay. Uh, you just walk down this ramp. So if you sit upstairs, you basically walk straight onto the gangway and off. And here we are on the pier in Grand Cayman. Pretty straightforward. <coughs> wow, I have a cough, I'm sorry. You're going to have to put up with that in the video. Yeah, lots of people. Actually, this boat wasn't oh, totally full. So you'll see most people just sat upstairs. And here we are just going down now. Kind of thins out a little bit. And then you walk through the security tent and go past the photographers. And I'm actually going to take over and start commenting on the rest of the video once we get up this little walkway here. So you can stop for a photo there. You can see it's a little bit damp on the ground, a bit cloudy. So yeah, I hope you enjoy the video and you manage to find your way to the beach in Grand Cayman by public bus. Enjoy the rest of the video, everybody, and I hope you have a good day. And I'm going to keep making videos. Okay. Hi everybody and welcome to I Like Cruise Ships, the YouTube channel and welcome to Grand Cayman and today we're going to actually make a video about how to get to the beach from the cruise terminal here in Grand Cayman and we're going to catch the bus and we're going to head on down to the Seven Mile Beach, the very famous Seven Mile Beach. Now the only thing today is, have a look at the weather, it's a little bit overcast, it actually is raining off in the distance. You can actually see here the pier where we just came off the tender boat and you can see the ship behind us and you'll still see people slowly walking off from the tender that we were just on. Now they call them water taxis, water shuttles, tender boats, they have lots of different names. But basically it's only about a four or five minute ride from the ship to the pier or to the land where we are standing now. And then we're going to head off and walk towards the pickup point for the bus to the beach. Okay, so come along and let's go check out the beach here in Grand Cayman. So from the jetty here in Grand Cayman, we're basically going to walk through the cruise terminal. This is super easy. There's quite a few people still walking off the same tender boat. And we're going to find the bus that'll take us to the beach. So we actually are the only ship in port right now, so it's a little bit quieter here. Uh, one thing to note as you walk off is the back on board time. Last water shuttle is at 3 p.m. Now obviously that'll depend now on the ship that you're on to maybe check the different times of the back on board time for your ship. Now as we walk off the one thing you'll see here is the different excursion meeting points. Now there's quite a few of them when you walk off so if you are going on a shore excursion and you're watching this video anyway. Uh, you'll see here these uh, little plaques. Uh, Snooba Cayman, Sea Trek Grand Cayman. And then there's some other shelters with different meeting points right here. So yeah, so it's pretty easy to once you've walked off to the, uh, from the terminal. Uh, lots of people just hanging around. Now one thing with Grand Cayman, a lot of people get off the ship without excursions. And a lot of people have this idea of just going to the beach and then there is quite a few uh, self, uh, what do you call these, like uh, private operators that have tours. So you can actually see here just in the distance these different kind of little desks that they've got set up. Stingray City, uh, Stingray City Tours, meeting point for different tour operators. So you can basically just choose if you like to go and book one of those and go yourself. Now the one thing that's important is just remember that back on board time or that last water shuttle or water taxi or tender boat, what time that last shuttle leaves. 
So that's the most important thing. Now it is already raining. No. So hopefully when you come here, it'll be a beautiful day. Now there is actually two exits here, kind of. You can actually exit through the duty free shop here and go through that door where the young lady's coming through and you'll end up on the other side on the street. Or we go out the main exit right here. So, and then when you're coming back to the ship, you, this is where you'd actually show your ID and your cruise card. And you're here at the entry and exit point. All right, so when you walk through, you're gonna see lots of people holding signs up, sightseeing tours. And now our little secret here is we're gonna head off to the right. And then this is the intersection here or the road where we're back, we're basically in town. And we're gonna cross the road and we're gonna find the public bus. Now, it's pretty straightforward. Oh, it's a white man, so we can cross as well. How cool is that? Very important here, follow the crosswalk. Oh, okay. Let's get across. And we're just gonna head down the street and we will be almost at the public bus station here in Grand Cayman. And we're gonna take the public bus to the beach. Now it is only, well right now it's 10.30 in the morning. I didn't get off as early as I'd like, but it doesn't really matter. Uh, getting to the beach from the ship takes you about 30 minutes, pretty much from getting off the ship, walking to the bus stop, and then getting on the bus. Oops. So yeah. Now we got a little bit of shake going on because I'm in a little bit of a hustle here. So this is basically going to one street back from the main shopping area. So it's pretty easy to find. And once we get to this next corner, you'll find the, they actually have like a memorial here, which is kind of cool. Um, there's a memorial here for, pretty sure it's for veterans and for s sailors. Now this is basically a normal street here, so let's just look for cars. Okay. Now the one way to find the bus station is to look for the landmark, which is the public library. So once we find the public library, you know you're pretty much at the bus station and you'll see slowly, actually we'll go this way. And huh, how cool is this? The water fountain. I know they have uh, sort of ceremonies here every now and again in the daytime. So that is the public library of Grand Cayman right there. Actually this building at the front is kind of the original library. And then this three story building behind is the new model, new, uh, new building that they built a few years back. So the actual front part's kind of there as a historical building. And this is the a bus station for all the public buses in Grand Cayman. So that's kind of cool, isn't it? Now, let's see if we can cross the road, shall we? Uh, hopefully, these guys are gonna stop. So we're gonna wave to them. And these guys are gonna stop and we'll wave to them as well. So, <laughs> and this is the public bus station here, the public transport bus depot. Ooh. All right, nearly got run over by the same guy. Not quite. So, it's pretty simple when you come here. All you need to do is figure out which is the bus. Now, they don't have any numbers on them, but it's pretty easy, basically. Can you see the chicken just there on the, right there on the road? You just need to figure out which is the right bus. Go into the beach, and this guy's gonna yell out to me and tell me which bus, and I'm gonna grab the bus in a second. So we're gonna come back to you in a minute, and we're gonna be on the bus. Okay, so this is our bus. Uh, pretty easy, number one, West Bay. That's the one we need to go to Seven Mile Beach. And we're gonna get right in the front. This is Kurt, our driver. Come on, come on, let's go. All right, let's let me go. jump in. Let's get going. And we're gonna head on down. So Kurt, how long is it gonna take to get to the beach? Let's take care about 
eight minutes. Eight minutes, all right. So that's pretty cool, eight minutes and we'll be at the beach. It's a little bit of a miserable day, but we want to find out how to get to the beach in Grand Cayman from the cruise terminal. So we're leaving the bus station now and eight minutes from now, we're gonna be there. Everyone excited to be on the bus? I can see. <laughs> All right. All right, off we go. So we're gonna basically just go about one main street around. And I'm not gonna film the whole way getting to the beach because it may not be that exciting a video. But we'll uh, find this first street, which we didn't walk down, but we're gonna come back to the main street here in a second. So don't worry about feeling like you're getting lost, because that's fine. The driver knows where we're going. Oh. Kurt's also a Formula One driver. Bit of a wheel spin on the takeoff there. We lost a few seconds. It's gonna be eight minutes and three seconds to get to the beach. Okay, so we've made it to Seven Mile Beach uh, just now. Uh, as the driver said, about eight minutes to get down here. Uh, pretty easy today. With a little bit of rain, it took maybe an extra minute or so, but uh, no worries at all. And now it's pretty easy to get off the bus. So basically the driver can stop anywhere along the way. So if you do know a favorite hotel or a landmark where you want to get off, just let them know. Uh, but otherwise I've got off here at the public uh, beach stop, I guess. And there's a huge car park just behind me. We'll sort of swing around. You can see the big car park. And then, ooh, getting dizzy. And then as we are ready to come back, you're just off in the distance, the public bus coming back. So one thing to remember here in Grand Cayman is they drive on the left-hand side of the road, which is because it's British, so always wait on the left-hand side of the road to catch the bus uh, going to and from your destination. So the bus down here was $2.50 US. Uh, I'm not sure, I think it might be $2 Cayman if you have local currency, but two fifty US, I gave him $10 and he gave me back $7.50 in US, including the coins. So uh, the bus drivers here, being that they're public buses, don't uh, overcharge you or try and say it's a different price. They charge you the right amount of money, and that's it. So now, the whole point of the video was how to get to the beach in Grand Cayman. So uh, I'm not gonna stay here and sort of check out all the sites. We can do that in another video if you guys like that. Give it a thumbs up, maybe put it in the comments that you'd like to come back to the beach. Uh, today, basically, I had the plan of coming to the beach before we even arrived today. And no matter the weather, uh, rain, hail or shine, we were coming to the beach. So uh, we'll walk down here, we'll do kind of basically one lap, we'll have a look. And then I'm going to grab the bus back. I'm going to go grab some lunch, actually, because I'm super hungry today. And I'm going to go back and have lunch and go back to the ship. So yeah, uh, let's go check out the beach. Now one thing to point out, uh, they're actually doing a lot of uh, public works here at the beach. So the path has kind of been diverted to a nice kids play area here as well. And we'll head, head towards the beach. So it doesn't look as beautiful as it can be. But imagine coming in here on a sunny day, blue skies. Uh, they're building basically some uh, public facilities. Uh, everybody's still here, even with the weather as it is. And we'll see the beach bars just off on the right there. And some little kind of cabanas as we get down here. And I've been to the beach a few times, and generally when we come out, generally it depends on who you're coming with, maybe somebody already knows another spot. Crank Cayman's a bit of a place where the, all the beaches are public. So no matter where you go to, there's a public beach access to get to the beach, so that doesn't matter. Uh, the one difference is if you end up at a hotel or a resort, they may have some sort of fees, particularly that you have to pay for the chairs, or maybe there's a fee for the amount that you're gonna eat or drink. So that'll just depend on where you've come down to. But this little blue path marks the way to the public beach. Now this is kind of something a bit different. Big rooster right here. And there's some volleyball courts with the rooster at the beach. 
And here we are in a second. Oh, the chicken doesn't know what time it is. He's clucking away. So here we are at the public beach. Now we'll be able to see in a minute how far we came down. Now it isn't really that far from the ship uh, in terms of the distance by car, but it is a bit of a distance if you were to walk it. Now some people do walk to the seven mile beach and back now they would uh, generally end up at an earlier point along the beach where the other resorts are. So, but See, lots of people have come down here and the water looks pretty nice even on a cloudy day it looks great I mean, it's very very overcast and a, as the driver said it's a good day for ducks so yeah there's some music playing there's plenty of chairs and it's really not crowded at all obviously with the rain today I'm pretty sure a lot of people haven't come down to the beach so yeah, we'll have a walk around and check it out a bit more so from just entering the beach, I've just walked down about uh, two or three more minutes and it's nice and quiet over here. There is still quite a few people that have come down to the beach. I'm pretty sure wherever you live right now and look out the window, you don't have this uh, kind of uh, aqua blue green water and you know this powdery sand. It is very, very nice beach sand. I did see one guy just now with uh, beach shoes or aqua shoes, but they're really not necessary here at the beach in Grand Cayman. You can uh, just easily put the towel down, jump right in the water. So they have jet ski rentals there as well. And then you have the choice, basically, of walking as far down the beach as you like. There's no real <laughs> rule about it. But as we end kind of the public beach right here, you'll see this kind of roped area. Then it ends up at Harbour Heights, private property and pool, guests owners only uh, you can sometimes get questioned if you're going to plan to sit at their part of the beach but otherwise you find a spot you hang out and chill so yeah still very very nice so if you're watching the video till the very end I just thought I'd add a couple of little pieces so this is now back on the main street waiting back for the bus and if you do stop anywhere along the road to go to the beach or to the seven mile beach in Grand Cayman uh, there is actually public access uh, like paths that lead from where the kind of hotels are to the beach now you'll see here uh, that that little pathway leads to the beach and somebody's decided to leave the supermarket trolley right there very normal everywhere in the world, I think. Even in a small island like this, someone's pushed their trolley all the way here. But look out for these signs, public beach access. And then you can basically just simply just walk through and end up at any part of the beach you like. Okay, everybody, I hope you enjoyed the video and you've managed to stick it out right to the very end to watch my closing comments. Um, I'm actually back on the ship now because I didn't do a video at the end on the way back because it was just raining. Uh, I managed to walk back slowly from Seven Mile Beach and I caught the bus the rest of the way and then it basically just started pouring down. So it wasn't the best of days. Grand Cayman's always beautiful, but you need some blue skies and uh, no rain. So I hope you enjoyed watching the video and you've got a little bit of a sense of how to get off the ship, how to get to the public bus stop and catch the bus down to Seven Mile Beach. And then just remember, if you do have a plan ahead of time of going to a different, maybe a beach or a resort or a hotel, uh, just let your driver know along the way where you want to get off. Otherwise, he'll drop you off at the public beach where we got off or I got off in the video. So, yeah. And remember, it's $2.50 US uh, per person uh, each way. So, you can actually, I paid a $10 bill, but you can have small money ready or even have some coins as well. Uh, it's $2, $2 Cayman or $2.50 US. So pretty straightforward to get to and from the beach. So thanks for watching, everybody. Thanks for watching I Like Cruise Ships, the YouTube channel. Uh, thanks for watching this video on how to get to the beach in Grand Cayman by public bus. Uh, if you like it, give it a thumbs up. And uh, thanks for watching right to the end. So if you're catching it right now, you can see me in my cabin here. Uh, <laughs> yeah, so I know most people sort of switch off halfway through. So I see, I see the statistics, so that's okay. So yeah, if you liked it, give it a thumbs up. Uh, if you haven't subscribed to the channel, click subscribe. 
uh, or possibly share this into one of your favorite social media platforms, maybe a Facebook group, maybe to uh, some friends who you know are coming to Grand Cayman. Uh, thanks for watching, everybody. I have a little bit of a cough coming on, so I'm trying my best to kind of get through this. So thanks for watching and have a nice day. Bye.